Hello everyone, I'm Rich Lamont. Thanks for coming to my channel. I created this channel to share my love of salmon fly tying and artistic fly tying. Through these videos, you will learn skills and techniques that you'll need to turn yourself into a better fly tire. So if you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe, tell your friends. Let's tie some flies. Hello again, Rich Lamont here. I wanted to do a quick part two to the uh, golden pheasant crest tails and toppings video. Uh, this one's more about shaping the toppings. So really briefly, um, when you have those those toppings that are, you know, they get kind of twisted and janky, like I was saying in the last video. These here where they're curved a little funny, where you'll get these long ones that are, they kind of have a twist to them. A way you can remove that twist out of them is by soaking them in water. You soak them in really hot water for about a half hour, 40 minutes. Um, and you'll have ones that are like this. Okay. You can clearly see that one's got a, a little S turn in it. So now after it's soaked, stick it to the side of a glass. Stick it right to the side of the glass like so. The water is suction, suction it right to it. And then you can take your tweezers or uh, your dubbing needle and you can run it straight. Once you've straightened that out, that'll dry like that, and then you can peel it off, and you'll have a perfectly curved topping. It won't be uh, with that S-curve in it anymore. Now, if you have a topping where you want, or you have a fly and you want a better topping that's got more of a yellow cascade, kind of like, uh, you know, kind of like these that you see on some, some really nice presentation flies, do the same thing. You soak your, soak your crests. And then, after you've soaked them, you stick them down onto a piece of glass or a mirror like this. Again, the water will suck it to the glass. So then take a pair of tweezers, and I like to just flatten all the little fibers out. And then I take my dubbing needle and go in between the fibers and just very gently stroke the fibers down into the shape that you want. This works with tails, this works with toppings, and you don't have to do every fiber, um, but you can get a good couple of groupings of them, and give them the nice shape that you like. When you're happy with the shape, I let them dry overnight. And then after you let them dry overnight, you should be able to go ahead and uh, tie them into your fly, whether it's your tail or your top. And that'll give you that nice golden cascade or uh, golden rain or whatever you want to call it um, over the top of the fly and over the wing. And those are the, uh, the easiest ways right there for shaping and forming toppings and tails for your salmon flies. Hope that's a help to you guys. Um, check back for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.